Reynolds. What's up, 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 what's I know nothing except for that I like snail. Big snail fan. I think the snail Big snail. Big snail fan. Big snail Big Honestly, I'm glad that snail is like of the four dark legendaries at the end of the Pokedex in Sword and Shield. Nope, in Scarlet and Violet. The snail <laughs> is definitely the Tapu Bulu of the bunch where he's got to like, you know, he's he's huffing and puffing. He's catching up to the rest of them. Oh, yeah. Because the other ones oh, are yeah. just so broken. But Wo Chien, is that the name of the snail? That's the name of the snail. Dark grass. Yeah. With the defense boosting ability. Attack pretty dropping. Much. Yeah, attack dropping ability. I'm, yeah. I've come around. I'm a fan of him. I'm a fan of him. I like him. I, I saw his design, and I'm like, I really hope that this is the good one, and then it was the worst one out of When four. I saw the leaks, I but thought I it was care. ground type, and I got excited. Oh, the other one's ground yeah. type. <laughs> so, like, it's it feels like it's, like, Arcanine-esque. It's not Arcanine, but he's, like, trying to be the same. <laughs> Put the fire dock next to the snail and point to both of them and say, this is the yeah, same Pokemon. Yeah, because they're both snarling. They're both dropping attack. It's like... That's cool. true. I'll I have good news. I have good news. They made him the best Pokemon right out the box. His base HP stat Explain. is 85. So if you max that out, um, if you max that out, his max HP at level 50 is 192, which is divisible by 16, which is optimal for leftovers recovery. We did it. <laughs> ah, we did it, boys. Let's go. Snail. Okay. Um. <laughs> so it, the thing with the <laughs> snail <laughs> is that like where every other Pokemon. Uh, barring the deer with the vessel, I, it's a bowl. Um, Ting Lu, Ting Lu, Ting Lu what Ting that Lu. thing do? Uh, so <laughs> what lower the thing do? <laughs> yeah, what the thing do is lower <laughs> special attack, which makes it really nice. But in VGC, you're honestly more threatened by physical attackers, bar Flutterman. Uh, so yeah. Wo Chain, despite having a really bad typing, I found is probably going to be absolutely nasty on my patented control teams. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna spam. I wish Incineroar was in the game. I'm gonna say it, but um, I'm gonna spam Arcanine Gothitelle Wo Chain as a core and slap a Parasong Belly Drum Azumarill on the end. Yes. Parasong. Wait for that video to come we out. We were talking about Parasong before the episode started. I think Parasong is gonna be big. I'm a fan. I like Parasong. I like it a lot. I wish I like used it more in Sword and Shield, but yeah, I don't think it had a setup. place in Sword and Shield as much because of Dynamax. Yeah. I tried. It's I tried. My Dynamax, first yeah. team in Sword and Shield was a Parasong Sandaconda team. I remember that. I remember yeah. that one. Oh my god. Wait. It did go hard for it, a day or two. For a couple of days. BDSP. I, I was believe. running. I was running Parasong BDSP. I, I really like the idea of like front loading a team with like super duper offensive mons that like force kills and like maybe they're frail maybe they die as well but it's like mm -hmm. you do that and then you guarantee you win the game with Parish Long. <laughs> like, yeah that's, i love that kind of thing i was running like rain Marcos, Marcos. rain with Parish Long was really cool in bdsp Wait, what would you guys say you? is Marcos, the best terror type for got to tell if you're trying to wall out the meta do you think psychic is fine but like i don't know normal uh, normal i think normal isn't bad normal's not a bad idea yeah because you don't lose to uh, uh, ultra to boosted fake out. Ultra. <laughs> okay, dark, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Cool. Still lose to Flutterman. But put 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 Wo Chien next to Chiyu, the fish. Yeah. Put them next to each other because you get the attack drop to prote protect fish, and then you get the special uh, defense drop so that Wo Chien can actually do damage and assist. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, that sounds awful. But but also. <laughs> wow, wow, okay. Yeah. Hater, both haters. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> awful. Live Leading hating. Leading into the next topic. Leading into the topic. Do you guys think that our first... Because we don't have any official rules. We just have, like, Battle Stadium doubles. Yeah, don't get me started. That allows pretty much anything, including Karaidon and Maraidon. Do you think that the first, I guess, format we get is going to be no sub legendaries or like no paradox forms and we're just gonna get base pokemon or do you think we're gonna I have mean, everything you know bat? pokemon has been really into this whole series thing recently but i want to remind the audience yeah. that they haven't always done that and they might have learned their lesson that is true um we had like, the first time they did no, this whole series no, thing <laughs> the whole the first time they did this whole series thing was uh in uh, ultra sun ultra moon vgc 2019 with sun moon and ultra series and those yeah. were the most understandable. They allowed for metagames to develop, so we were allowed to use 
uh, no gimmicks the entire first season. And then mm -hmm. the next series, like three months later, it was four months because it was a year. Four months later, uh, they allowed us to use Z moves. And then four months later, you could use Z moves, primals, megas. Uh, and that was Ultra Series. I think yeah, that it was really this fun. time around, if they were to do it, I would hate it if they were to ban the sub legendaries or the paradox forms, the first format, specifically because I had a guy in the comments say there's no way these things are going to be legal. Mm -hmm. And I, via, <laughs> I, via precedent, told him there's no way they're not going to be legal. And then it hit me that Pokemon might screw me over this time. Um, so, yeah, because they want to do they series. Got you back. It's from the Gen 7 thing that you're talking about with the, with the Sun Moon Ultra series, right? They absolutely did not learn their lesson, and they then chose to make, what, like, 12 different series in Sword and Shields? <laughs> that was lame, because you never really got to, like... The, the only metagames that developed for Sword and Shield were probably Series 1, because 2 and 3 were based... No, 3 was different. Uh, but uh, 1 and 2 were basically the same, because I think they yeah. unlocked, like... Max Lapras, which wasn't that important. It was Lapras, um, and, it was well, Lapras it was, it was, and uh Pika. Yeah. yeah. So they weren't that big. Yeah. Um and then series five and seven were the next were the only other two that like developed well. And it was basically each time there was DLC, that's when they developed well. Um yeah. Yeah. COVID yeah. didn't help this at all, by the way. So I, yeah. I absolutely a hundred percent thousand think they're just gonna like do another series run through, right? Where it's like Mm -hmm. Either they'll sprinkle in little guy by little guy, right, through home transfer, right? I think it'd be a similar format, right, where it's like, yeah, series yeah. one through whatever, however many series we get to, until home transfer comes out, and then they start adding a couple guys through home transfer. And My, then, and then that's the the new format until whatever DLC comes out, and then that's the new format. Right? Yeah. Like, I think that we're just gonna do that same yeah. whole song My, once again. Now I could see, that, right, because we don't have Gigantamax forms that you can trickle in at the beginning from series one to one to three. Ash could be right, right? If, like, the paradox... I don't want to be right. I don't want you to be right either, because I, I do think that would be an, a little bit annoying. But kind of lame. I could totally understand if paradox forms are something that are, are trickled in, or if... um, uh, What were the other ones? The chi, the chi, Seeing Marco's type expanding force uh, into Gothitelle's quartet. quartet is really sad. <laughs> the ruinous quartet. <laughs> yeah, show yeah, yeah. Up. Now, that I, name goes so hard. Yeah, that's crazy. I, it, is, it is powerful. That is crazy. I... I think they'll they'll just be you know legal out the box. I don't see why they wouldn't be. Balls right? yeah. I think that, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, Sword Shield just didn't have any of those guys. Like Sword Shield didn't have an end of the dicks uh, yeah. trio. So yeah, that like you know wasn't indicative of much in terms of like what the early series that's... formats looked like. Yeah, I could. I think we're. Mm -hmm. I think if they've learned anything, we go some. We go somewhere in the middle between um, Gen Sevens. Uh, series series type of thing right with like the sun moon ultra and the 12 that we got in uh <laughs> sword shield like i think we go less i think we get less yeah. series and My less like hope. fluctuation in this game yeah oh, I'm but it still happens i, I it, the no one's gonna tell me that it's not gonna happen no because they like that oh, needs yeah. to happen for the longevity of the game and they know that so that's happening <laughs> yeah i'm thinking My it's gonna be uh what we have right now everything that's legal and then we get the home and that's going to be a new series. Yes. And then we're going to get the first DLC. And then we're going to get the second DLC. Because that's yeah. probably yeah. what they're going to do That again. was exactly what I yeah. was going to say. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm thinking there are a lot of um, both... Like, Alolan Muck is the Pokemon that I've been hoping Muck. for. Just because it's one of my favorite <laughs> Pokemon. But also, it's a good Pokemon. So, so sexy. I think if... Yeah, if it's able to be there through home transfer, that'll be great. Um, and also a lot of the Hisuian forms are fucking fantastic looking. So I'm, I'm hoping that the, the, those go through because like, yeah, Cleavor, Ursaluna, um, fun series. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Zorark. Yeah. Like, like what even Sneasler looks crazy. Just, just all of them getting in is, is going to be really exciting. I think exciting. we're going to get I, five I, big formats. I don't want to use that word, but it's going to feel like five different feelings of playing of playing mm -hmm. scarlet violet and i think yeah. here i just said five right okay so the first one is just whatever we've got in the decks right now okay mm -hmm. second one is going to be the home transfer so this is all of the the hisuian guys that's going to be like its own vibe that's going to be part two mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um 
part three would probably be like the when the Landorus and stuff comes. You know what I mean? Like so that's when where the we're getting Reggie. Yeah. Home. yeah, that's where we're getting Reggie, like all those guys. Um, and then oh, maybe maybe I should put DLC there first before then. Yeah. So it's it's yeah. Okay, let's do it like that then. Uh, out the box is one. Two is uh, home transfer Hisui guys. Three is probably whatever mm -hmm. DLC you get. Um, yeah. Like the first round of DLC, because I'm assuming they'll just do another wave of DLC. If they only do one of this, is mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. I'm saying, but whatever. Um, then the Lando guys, on the Reggie, like he's, you know, the guys that like just ruin games. Uh, and then finally, <laughs> they're the fine. They're going to be fine. The the one thing Landorus gets is, is flying stab in this game, and it's not like he's fake out immune or anything. Like, uh, this is yeah. going to, and also Landorus, like, becomes weaker without ground typing, because now, like, Reggie, like, he kills it. Also, it doesn't make sense for them not to release all the Herm guys when, like, they're available for Herm, because they didn't yeah. actually add, mm -hmm. like, they might do the thing that they did with, like, Cobellion and stuff, where they just, like, ban them, but I don't see that, like... Making much sense. They didn't even ban Cobalion. Okay. They made them legal right away. And it was like, it's like <laughs> they, they, it was available through home transfer, but they weren't legal until series uh, five. Five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that was because they added in DLC the um the thing where you could like before then you couldn't you actually use them because they were it wasn't because they were banned it was because you couldn't use them other than home transferring and before then they didn't have like the the battle ready mark and that's when they became legal after that because you oh, couldn't yeah, you, could use, yeah. you could use them in in um isle of armor meta yeah because you swords of justice you could use them there because you were able to transfer them home yeah home. yeah but not because you could catch them in an isle of armor because that was ground tundra yeah, yeah yeah no but like that only came because of dlc you know what i mean like so but mm -hmm. if that is in the game like purse it depends on so if they might so i think what's going to happen is there's going to be her transfer guys so like different forms and stuff will be available, like uh like Alola Mark, because you'll be able to breed them, but the stuff you can't breed and can only transfer in for the like sake of transferring them in and like using them in game, they don't have like the battle ready guy yet, so you're not yeah. gonna be able to use them. So I think a lot of them won't come until first DLC if they add it. Unless like mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's I hidden agree. in the code or something. Like it, I'm with you on this because <laughs> I think I don't. Th what I guess what I think both of us are trying to say is that I don't think the Hisui guys are gonna come VGC ready and usable at the same time that Landorus and Aleki are. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna be separate yeah. for sure. It's gonna be home, but not like all of home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna get um like th they're still gonna restrict those imported legendaries. I think that that would also be. The best outcome that I want, also because I don't know. There's there's a lot of new mons that could get shut down by incoming legendaries. I mean, enamorous on its own just d messes up Trick Room a lot. <laughs> yeah. So I I'd like to see it be separate for at least a little bit. And I think it will be. Yeah, because they did that in Sword Shield as well, where it's like home transfers available. You guys can use Incineroar and Venusaur. You cannot use Landorus though, <laughs> not yet. Oh, actually, <laughs> um, not yet. Wasn't no, in no, no. Yet. It wasn't in the yeah. game. It wasn't in the game, but it was in the game. It is in the game now. It's just you. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Everything I'm, that yeah. wasn't yeah. What, a box probably, legendary. Is, is, whatever they add in DLC, yeah. Whatever they add in DLC is whatever gets there. Yeah. What, what change? What changes stuff is if they have a battle ready guy. In the game because we don't know if they have that mm. but we also don't know if it's already in the like if it's like coded in there to happen or if they're even gonna like that's gonna matter yeah. at all like because uh because theoretically because what you could do in sword and shield is transfer guys in and they would keep their old moves even if the moves weren't one in the game or two they didn't learn from what they've done in this game is that when you transfer stuff into the game is that you get your move set re redone so it doesn't so it's automatic it's automatic so mm -hmm. what i'm thinking is when you transfer a guy in is it like already considered battle ready despite not having the mark is the having the mark thing gonna matter at all anymore ah probably I not what you mean Pro like it's probably not gonna matter anymore because they've put a thing into the game where if you transfer mons in they just relearn like moves that they should know you know what i mean 
So mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. we might come into a, a point of the game where, hey, we're allowing Hisui guys and all these guys from home transfer only stuff, but that also includes Zapdos, Smoltris, Articuno, uh, the, the silly uh, horses and the Rudgies and the, you know what I mean? Yeah. Also, yeah. I want to say, fucking abysmal that we have Reggie, Reggie Alecki and Reggie uh, Drago, but not Reggie Rock, Rocky Steel, or Reggie Ice. Oh yeah, I didn't Wait, notice really? that. I'm gonna. That's so I'm messed up. Beat the shit out of whatever game freak executive made that decision. <laughs> um, well, the well this this list changes right, like with DLCs. Oh uh, yeah, but there's still gonna be like a point in the game where one is available and one isn't. DLC mm. is gonna happen, but because yeah. now that I'm thinking about it, battle ready mark doesn't matter anymore. I think we're just gonna be able to transfer whatever into the video game and use it in VGC no matter what. Um so like all the all the transfer guys I think will come at the same time, so like Reggie Alecki and, like, Rillaboom and Landorus and Thunderous and all that will come at the same time as his Sui forms and Alolan forms. No, no, no. No, no, I think so. 100% doubt, no. no. Why? I, I hope that they come in at the same time, but they're not legal at the same time. I, I that hope didn't not. With Sword and Shield. Well, no, because Sword and Shield had the battle ready mark. You could have. Well, that has nothing to do with anything. No, it does. Yeah, Brady, well, you're really stupid doesn't. and dumb and well, no, stupid. Think about it. You're saying? Obtain... No, 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 I'm joking, I didn't hear you. It. You could not obtain an Incineroar in the series that it was legal. Yes, you could. Yes, you you could. got it through home. Well, no, no, you, no you, you had to transfer it you, with the battle ready mark or whatever. No, you, what you're saying. no the yeah. battle, yeah. battle ready mark wasn't in the game. What you did is you transferred it in and breed a new one in the video game. Yeah, that's how you did it. That's how you did it. Oh, ah. right, yeah, yeah, that, okay, yeah, that too. Sorry, yeah. Michael, you're dumb and stupid that and dumb That proves my now. point. That literally wait. proves no, my no, point. No, <laughs> wait. But like, you, wait, you don't think we're going to get, like, a battle-ready well, no, NPC? No, I think we will probably do that, it, unless it's just not in the game entirely, like Brady's well, saying, right? The well, 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 yeah, I was, was going to say, there's the no point. Matter at all. No, no, yeah, no, there's the no doesn't point matter in it. at all. It's just whatever is allowed to be transferred into the game through home, mark or not, whatever the hell that means, right? It's like, if home allows you to, like, put it in the game... <laughs> like what I'm saying is they're not gonna put all of home in the game at the same time. It's gonna be well, no. like exactly what they did in Sword Shield. <laughs> no, well, like, what they did in Sword and Shield, the Michael, you're... the Primarinas, the Venusaurs yeah, of the Michael, world. you're misremembering Those get added before the rest no, you're, of the you're, you're misremembering. In in Pokemon Sword and Shield, the home update came out and the list of transferable Pokemon was extremely limited. Yeah, the, what yes, ended, that's wait, what I'm no, saying. No, no, but what happened is every Pokemon in home that wasn't, like, literally Kyurem, like, that sort of thing, like, all, like, the non-box legendaries were immediately allowed to be used. Uh, so, like, that was, that was a thing. Yeah. Uh, and then the Isle but, of but, Armor but update came like out. Land, no, no, but, no, but pause there because that's proving my point. What? Like, <laughs> no, it isn't. No, no, no. not right. everything. No. Not everything was allowed to be transferred into Sword and Shield. Well, no, from it was. Home. No, it was allowed yeah, to be well, transferred, I, I, but it wasn't used in the video game. But the thing is, I, I feel like I feel in... like we're we're missing up. We're, we're like messing up what we're arguing. Here's here's what I'm trying to say. Everything that was allowed to be transferred into the game in series three became VGC legal. This included yes. Incineroar, yes, Primarina. But the only not wait, hold on. Pokemon I'm trying to finish was... the point still. <laughs> Including Incineroar, Primarina, Venus, they all immediately became legal. The only things that were barred were the box legendaries. And then the list of transferable Pokemon expanded with each DLC. And as that list expanded of transferable Pokemon, Series 5 drops, like the day the DLC comes out pretty much, those Pokemon, Cobalion, Terrakion, despite them being sub legendaries, immediately became VGC legal as well because they were transferable in. Landris wasn't transferable into the game until the third or until the second DLC, the Crown Tundra. But when he was allowed to be transferred in, they immediately got the rules out to make it legal. So it's it's oh, it, it was a rollout. It wasn't my point. Oh, I thought you were exactly arguing the opposite. My point. I thought no. you were <laughs> Well, no, but <laughs> like Okay, okay, okay. okay, but, okay. No, 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 no. All no, of no. Went, okay, no, no, listen, listen. Dude, no, you need My thing is that list of Pokemon that we get initially, that list of stuff like the Incineroar and stuff, our list of fat Pokemon right now is Landorus, 
the Landorus, the Genies, the Zapdos. Yeah. That list for Scarlet and Violet includes Hisui forms, Alolan forms, Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno, fucking Tornadus, Thunderous, Landorus. That list, they are coded in the game. They don't need to be rolled out. As soon as home transfer will be available, they will be able into be able to be put into the video game. So if we're yeah, gonna have, I'm, if we're I'm, having, I'm able with to Brady. Be put if we're game, wait, yes. if we're if Does we're going if we're going with precedent, Brady's correct here. Uh, the only precedent for this situation, all legendaries that were legal, uh, that weren't like Kyurem, uh, but were allowed to be transferred in, did immediately become uh, legal, and then the DLC legendaries came in later. Uh, so if we're going off a of precedent, Brady's right here. So here's 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 how I think it is going to happen. Everybody stop screaming. Good. So <laughs> thank you. I was expecting you all to start screaming as soon as I started. <laughs> I feel like I could have gotten okay. dude. Like you <laughs> Yeah, no, no, this is this is when we start arguing. We go we we everybody gets their turn. We need a talking stick, but we're not sitting next to each other, so we can't do a fucking talking stick. We need to, we'll figure something out. You know, we haven't talked this over Ash yet. Happen. Guys, you want to talk over Ash? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> here's, 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 okay. I think, how, okay, Marcos was right. I didn't realize that the list of Pokemon that could be transferred in expanded as Sword and Shield, you know, happened. I thought that as soon as home compatibility happened, you could transfer in your fucking Kiram White, and that was just how... It was. Like, you just couldn't use it on ladder, right? That's how I think it's going to work for this game. I think we're going to get the Sui transfers. I think we're going to get Alolan Muck and, and all of these other Pokemon, along with being able to send in your Hoopa, your Celebi, your, 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 your Zashi, and you'll be able to put them all in the game. They're not going to be legal yet. I don't know how they're going to handle, like, the, the, the trios, my hope is that it will be a separate series when they start allowing those Pokemon. But also, if that's the case, the quartet of this gen is probably also going to be legalized at the same time that Zapdos, the Genies, etc. are allowed. That's what I think is going to happen. I think it's like... We don't it's know! Like, it's, it's, <laughs> President always says, like, it's... Because the way it worked in Sword and Shield was that... You know, they you transfer the mod in, and if it's usable, the only re because Crevelian, uh, there is the Swords of Justice. They were available in the video game when Home was available, but the only thing stopping that was that they couldn't have the the mark. They couldn't have like the the Gen Eight mark that you needed to have on your Pokemon to play in a on mm -hmm. a ladder. You know what I mean? You could use that yes. guy over on yes. casual ladder. They didn't give a fuck what was out happening mm -hmm. over there. Yeah. On competitive ladder, you need to have yeah. the Gen 8 mark. But the only thing that changed yeah. that in Series 5, when the Isle of Armor came out, is alongside Isle of Armor, they added the guy that let you change people, Pokemon that don't have the Gen 8 mark, to have a battle-ready mark. So if you transferred a Pokemon caught in Gen 7, you could cha change, you could, um, you could give it the battle-ready mark, get rid of all of its moves, wipe its moves, and give it new ones, and then you can teach it whatever. And then that's yeah, they added a whole did. other guy. That's why you could do it. You couldn't do it in Series 3 when they added Incineroar and stuff, because Incineroar you could breed. Legendaries, you can't do that. So mm -hmm. that's why they weren't available in Series 3, but they became available in Series 5. Mm -hmm. Battle Ready mm -hmm. Mark isn't a thing anymore. Like, I don't think that's a thing, just solely because of the, how the transfer works, and they're not going to care. Um, which is why mm -hmm. I'm saying that Hey, when home transfer comes out, I think they're adding the the birds, the genies, all these guys, the the Regis, Urshifu. I think that's why I think that is why they're adding those in because that list of you know Incineroar, Primarina, all those guys in Sword and Shield is equivalent to the same list of these guys that we have here. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because, yeah, that's why I mainly agree. Yeah. yeah. So, my hope is they do split it up, but I don't think that's the case. I think that's just the reality of it. That's precedent. Like, I I want to be able to use, like, the Hisui guys without having to worry about Regieleki and Rillaboom and all those guys. But I'm looking at it from a, like, pat it's the pattern recognition. This is, like, this mm -hmm. is how they've done it in the past, so I don't see any reason why they're changing it at all. Um... 
I want them to change it so bad. So, okay, first of all, is there a mark right now in the game? No, right? No, there's no mark at all. There was there a mark at the beginning of Sword and Shield? No, they had to update it in. They added a whole nother dude. So what's so stopping might, them from doing it. the same thing again? The fact that they don't need That's to just... because the new system doesn't allow for transfer moves. The mark itself not only gave you a oh, mark, yeah. but it removed all of your transfer moves. Now when you transfer something into it. a new Pokemon game, it resets all the moves and will give it whatever moves are legal in the game. So that there's no need for they it. can't do a mark, though. Well, the, yeah, but the thing is there's no need for a mark. It's completely redundant. Yeah, I remember well, no, the main the, reason... The that need they... for the mark would be to make it legal or not. Well, no, no they would the, just make the rules. It's just, there's literally a, the, a legality list. So the mark yeah, wasn't, the mark, hey, it's yeah. legal. The mark yeah, was, same, same hey, thing. this... Yeah. Yeah, well, the mark, the mark NPC was added specifically because up until every gen before then, you weren't allowed to use previous gen Pokemon. That was just like a solid rule in VGC, and it maintains that rule today. You can't use previous Pokemon. I think the reason was in like Gen Four, there was like an event something yeah, that was like, like absolutely busted. Yeah, yeah. He so trained, to, he trained like, with eruption. Yeah, eruption. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. that's from that's from Gen Five, if I remember. So they made it so you can't use previous gen Pokemon anymore. Uh, and it had to be from that game. So now that that's built into the transfer system to remove all possible event moves, there is literally no reason to have that mark. And the only thing you would have to do is update the legality list of Pokemon by species. Because hmm. before it was, you you can use uh, Raichu in Gen 8, but it can't be the Endeavor Raichu from Gen 6 that yeah. you could get. You know, but now See, it's like, hey, just, it's it's legal if it showed up, you know, if it's in the game, yeah. it's legal. Yeah, which you're not wrong about any of that. Right. But I'm saying if they do add a mark, that would make it so that, you know, it's whoever can get bread that's allowed when home get transfer bread. gets a well, thing. Well, you know no, but I mean? like the mark <laughs> doesn't need to exist. This yeah, it, it, the mark is pointless now. It, it literally the mark, does. The, listen, the listen, mark doesn't listen, need to The exist. mark would make it to where... Regieleki is not legal at the same time as um, uh, Ceaseless oh, Edge guy. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. I see what you mean. That's literally yeah, well, just no, it, no, well, no, the thing. Well, the thing is, no, no, no. no, no. Here's the thing. Listen. Here's the thing. They don't need to use the mark for that. They can literally just yeah. say, or, hey, this or is Or they could do it in the legality list reason. That's yeah, what I, I've been I trying to tell you sense. this whole that time. That's what I've been trying to tell you. It's like... <laughs> that's what i want i want that to happen i want them to i know i know we all want that we all want ceaseless edge and reggie Lucky to be not in the game at the same time right we all want a format where we could play with the history guys plus maybe roll boom and center you know because you know all that shit gets added at the same time and then, sexy. The, and then the turbo the turbo guys come later right we all want that right mm -hmm. and yeah. the way in which you can do that is like what marco said through a viability or not viability a uh, legality list or if you add the mark, that's what the purpose of it They're would be to do. They're not going to add the mark. Why would they do that? Just You're make not the dog. just make the legality list. Why, what? The mark, the mark is completely pointless. And that is true. The mark is entirely no pointless. Okay, that. okay, okay. They both accomplish the same thing. Everybody, shut up! Everybody, shut up! Everybody, well, shut the up! Legality the legality list should have to do on top of the mark, so it's more steps. Mark up! <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> shut up! The mark was added so that it would force the Pokemon to forget any transfer moves and replace it with just whatever moves it would have learned by level up at that point. No TMs, no egg moves, no previous tutor moves, n nada. Yes. That was the point of the mark. The legality list is to define what Pokemon are legal or not. I understand what you're saying, Michael, and that it would be kind of cool if it's like after a certain point, oh, now you can put the legal mark on your Regieleki and now it's allowed. It would be a lot simpler to just put it into the list of legal Pokemon that are allowed. The mark was there just to get rid of the transfer moves. And that's, yes, that is, that is, that is my thoughts on the matter. I have to scream. <laughs> All of you talking over each other. Ash agrees with me and Brady, we win. We win. No, <laughs> that is not what is happening. <laughs> But what I'm, I will cry. My point is, my point is, I, we all want the same thing. But my point is, I don't think that's going to happen, just because, uh, because sort of, uh, because like, the Pokemon Company is sharing. Screw you, Brady. I want Landorus now. <laughs> yeah, man. What's What's great? What's yeah. Great. It's good. What's great is that I don't have to be nice to Landorus anymore because we've got like 
snow Pokemon and hail Pokemon are like viable. Oh yeah, dude. The other day I faced a Baxcalibur in hail and I literally couldn't break it. Chiyu is gonna not Chiyu. Chien Pao is gonna be big for Lander and stuff. What I think. What's great about Regieleki is that yes, it can terrestrialize to be electric type and nuke you. Yes, it can terrestrialize to be ice type to get an ice type move. It it is still made of dust. It is made of of. It has glass bones and paper skin. Yeah, you bullet punch Now that it. we don't have Dynamax... Yeah, you bullet punch it. Now that it can't Dynamax, you know, all you have to worry about is a Sash. Fake out, kill it. Oh, it protects? Oh, I have Sandstorm or whatever. You know, th we have way more tools to deal with it than we did in Dynamax formats where it could just Dynamax and live a hit and just hit you with a life orb fucking nuke. And, and now it's not going to be so bad. I'm hoping that's not going to be terrible. I don't like Reggie Lucky. I think he should stay in Galar. I think... But alas. I think, uh, we're looking a little bit too far ahead, to be honest. <laughs> that is true! We don't even have- That's fact. Why are we not talking no about now? We haven't talked about away. now. Uh, what's happening now? Yeah, I put the- I put the topic in because I was curious of what you guys think. I didn't thought, think it would start at, like, half an hour discussion. <laughs> I'm leaving. My Woe Chain team is done. Bye, guys. <laughs> no! <laughs> There he goes, never to be seen again. What? Yeah, early early meta impressions, right? Because uh, uh, whoa, those aren't words. Because uh, DGC, that's the words I'm looking for. Those are up. Uh, or that ladder's up on Showdown now, right? Uh, yeah. it's not yeah, official yeah. rules. They Battle stadium doubles. Yeah, yeah, they state that these rules are not official. Um, okay. but they do yeah. state. But, but like, we'll get the official rules in what day is today? The 26th, like five days. Yeah. Um. Uh, really. Do we have a date? Yeah, December first is when the la when the ranked ladder goes live. Oh, that's true, huh? Which is I don't know. Unfortunately, one day before I get my train conductor hat and whistle. <laughs> the Don Ducker. It's okay. Don I'm the Don Ducker baby. Get there one day. Listen, everyone literally keeps telling me Marcos Don Dozo bad, Don Dozo bad, or people will tell me Marcos what? Don Dozo broken, Don Dozo broken. It's a cheap Pokemon, and I tell I tell the. Uh, I tell all the people complaining that it's broken, hey man, just use a Moongus or like Haze or anything, you'll have no issues. And then I tell all the people telling me that it's bad because you can just use a Moongus, I tell them, well, only a shit player would let the Amoongus uh, hit them in the Don Dozo. <laughs> <laughs> Don Dozo is, I, I don't remember which one of you said it, but it's like Colossal. It's a meme for sure, but it works. It's a viable meme. I, I, I've been, viable I've been meme. propagandizing to Joe UX9 all week about it. Uh, and in his tier list today, he put it at viable sometimes, and I went yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got him because you kept telling you kept telling me it was shit. I'm very proud of you. I I think yeah, I think it's gonna it's it's silly, it's goofy, but I think it's definitely gonna work because you you just a plus two omni boost, like you, there's no universe where that is bad. Uh yeah. I, dude, and I, can, I keep getting comments from, like, prankster Murkrow dudes. The prankster the prankster Haze Murkrow crowd is, like, the exact same oh, as the Weakness Policy Cinderace crowd this gen, where they're like, <laughs> they're like, this beats everything, and you have to go, no, the fuck it doesn't, because there's a thing called Team Preview. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a thing called this, Team Preview, and if you're using Haze Murkrow, you're not good enough to realize that we know that it's Haze Murkrow. <laughs> mm, mm-hmm. Murkrow is like that the ultimate that, cope mod for me. I don't know. I don't think I'm ever gonna I, ever gonna use that mod. <laughs> I think he's funny. I think he's, he's, he's funny you know, he, for sure. He, he he's is cool. he is our uh, our best uh, Tailwind setter uh, technically. Yeah, that's what's really funny. The only prankster Pokemon with Tailwind this gen. It's so sad. I mean, unless you count Gale Wing's uh, uh, Talonflame, because that's priority. Yeah, it, yeah, it was the VSP as well, right? Like Murkrow was the only prankster Tailwind guy, and it's still got no usage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Insane. I'm like, it's cool in practice. I just don't think without Dynamax that that's like as worth running a Murkrow for, you know? <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of really fast mons that get Tailwind now too, and a lot of just random mons that get Tailwind because it's a TM. Yeah, some now. cool Tailwind Honestly, mons really like too. Kilowattrol. Yeah. Kilowattrol is high. Yeah, Kilowattrol. Kilowattrol. So, so we've got the fucking Excadrill we've got at home is this dead dog. The Zapdos we've got at home is Kilowattrol. <laughs> Kilowattrol is like situationally better than Zapdos. It, Honestly, like yeah. Competitive like... is cool. It has competitive. Yeah, yeah, really, competitive. Really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to. The fact it has. Oh, sorry. You go, Brady. I've been trying to. No, you go, because uh... you're the expert. Trying to lab, um, like this quake with Kilowattrol Godchomp because, like, what are you gonna do? Intimidate me? 
Okay. That's true. <laughs> that's true. But you could also run clear amulets, so if they try, they don't get anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's what I was oh thinking. Because I've been running. Oh, dude, clear. I've been... clear amulet physical attacker next to competitive guy is so fucked. I mean, no, it's <laughs> literally bullying. like it's literally like, nah, this is what the this is what the uh, the Arcanine is for, and then they switch in the Arcanine. They go take that fiend, Explosive. and you go listen up, dumbass. I'm gonna let you forfeit now. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, uh, I've been using um. What do you call it? A uh, fire type clear amulet garchomp with SD. It's got like it's got like oh! EQ or like stomping tantrum with Terra Plus Sword Stance Protect. Oh, and that's I, hot. You like that's you, hot. you just fucking sweep an entire like. And like you also it, resist fairy moves. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so you don't get burnt. You resist fairy moves. You resist ice moves. You resist steel, but nobody's running steel that much. But like, I don't know. I, you resist. You pretty much resist, like, a Chiyu's Blood Amain lead, like, they can, like, Heat Wave you- I mean, you already resisted Heat Wave, but, like, d -Gleam doesn't do shit, and then you can just, like, Earthquake and they both die. <laughs> but, um, or, like, I don't know, it's like, Arcan like, Arcanine is, like, a big problem for a, uh, for a lot of Pokemon at the moment, it seems, because Arcanine's just, like, the goat, like, <laughs> mm -hmm. like, will o mm -hmm. Intimidate guy. Um, but being able to, like, turn into Fire-type, you're gonna try to will o you turn one, you set up an SD, you stomping tantrum for them, and they die. It's like, yeah, cool. Yeah, oh my god. I think setting- Dude, there's so many cool things you can setting do. Setting that up next to, like, a killer watch rule with, like, Tailwind? Bro, it's, like, unstoppable. Cle yo, clear amulet on a guy that turns into a Fire-type, Arcanine is fucking crying, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny as shit. <laughs> there has never been a generation where Intimidate just doesn't feel as necessary. I, I like Squawkabelly. I think Squawkabelly could Squawk be- Squawkabilly. Is it Squawkabilly? Yeah, like, okay, like Rockabilly. Oh, I get it now. Okay. I like him because Ground Immunity, Intimidate, uh, with Tailwind, that can't be bad. That can't be bad, right? I just think he's a goofy guy. Yeah, but it can be. But you have described <laughs> Salamence. <laughs> Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. However, however, I'm actually kind of this man about, can't like, do damage. I'm kind of wondering about Arcanine usage now because Clear Amulet is kind of like a gigantic nerf for that guy. Yeah, I think it's like it's gonna be like kind of deep. Like for Pokemon that don't need an extra boost, like for Godchomp specifically, like generally, uh, yeah. what, what what were you running in like 2017? You're running like an AV. You were running a, a, a ground. I mean, you ran ran like ground in EMZ and like life orb sometimes, but for the most part, you ran like AV or like a scuff. Like you didn't need to be. Yeah. You didn't have to be strong with that guy. Um, like you didn't need an item to be strong. You just needed an, an item to, for it to like maybe stay on the field, keep its longevity, or like uh set it up so it could like SD and then do its swing. But its speed stat and its attack stat is already good. Clay Amulet is, like, mm -hmm. awesome for it because the, it's one weakness of getting intimidated. Yes, yes, like, exactly, yeah. Um, It's one other weakness of, like, getting Icy Winded and maybe, like, just getting out sped in general. They can't do, like, Icy Wind stuff. They can't, like, they, they, they can't drop your SD boosts. Um, It's just really nice just to have that Clay Amulet yeah. for a Garchomp. It's the same for Scizor as well, but Scizor is also, like... <laughs> can't do anything I to think, Arcanine, sir. Um, yeah, you said last night mm. it's big for Groudon, too, and that I was screaming and running around the room for, because I was like, oh my god, you're right. A Groudon Swords Dance that stays at plus two forever? We're winning uh, out here, boy. Big if true, <laughs> and it so was easy. true. Yeah. Uh, it's like, uh, fire, I mean, you could run the exact same set for, for Groudon. Like, fire type. Yeah. Fire type, uh, Rastal clear amulet. Clear amulet. Because yeah. well, what, it's it's literally the ultimate like no one drop my attack stat, please. Yeah. <laughs> I will cry. <laughs> That's what it's like what, what's the one Do not intimidate me. water? It's like, okay, cool, I have the sun up. I resist that. Yeah. Uh, not resist, yeah, but like I, I, I take neutral damage from that now. And also my fire yeah. moves are doing a lot of damage to you now. I've got the sun up. <laughs> like heat crash or like fire Mono punch. fire. Mono Fire is actually kind of like not even that bad of a defensive typing for Garchomp to keep, so like that's yeah, that's cool. Yeah, dude. Hey, it's almost like oh, I this was, video game is gonna be so fun. It's almost like I was. This is such a good, good video free, game. This is a good video game. <laughs> it is a good video game in the best ways, but also a bad video game in the worst ways. 
Um, I love going oh, on the ladder and my grim snarl is four polygons. <laughs> <laughs> this video game is very funny. I got to play it over the weekend, over the uh, Thanksgiving. <gasps> oh, break. you started? Let's I didn't. I don't own it yet, but I was playing with my my little cousins. Um, oh, bless! And they were doing like a. He was bro, little bro was like way too under leveled, right? And he was like, "Oh, mm -hmm. do you think you could help me beat this? I know you're like good at Pokemon and like have like strategies and shit." And I'm like, "Oh, bet. Let me see what we got here, right?" And I was like, "Oh, these are the Pokemon you got. You got anything in the box?" And he looks at me. He's like, "No." <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit!" All right. <laughs> but so My bad. it was the uh, it was the Dodonzo fight, the 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 Titan. Oh. Um. And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, "Yeah, we can beat a Dodonzo with this, right?" Uh, he tries it first go around like he was just showing me what he was doing and he's like yeah i just can't do enough damage and it lives too much and i'm like yeah okay okay we gotta think of something right and That's i was like what kind of tms you got in your bag and he shows me <laughs> and i'm like oh wait okay okay strategy forming you have quick wobble right you resist water move you can't do any damage back but maybe we can make you do more damage and so we ended up uh -huh. running <laughs> bulk up rest sleep talk <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. to beat the Dodonzo and hilarious. we did we were like popping off we were like yeah let's go that is so wonderful but so to I see, love that to see my like turbo sweaty competitive player knowledge come into play with the 9 year old that I'm playing Pokemon with hyper casually cause he's out of like cause he's just, he's just <laughs> under leveled right he's not supposed to be able to beat that fight but we were able to beat that fight anyway Greatest Pokemon game of all time ever. Off of that interaction alone, that shit was awesome to me. That said, that's so wonderful. Looked like ass in the process because there's a lot oh, of yeah. a lot of graphical bugs. Yeah, <laughs> while that was happening, I was like, ooh. It, it sucks, man. I wish, I wish that it's so strange because I'm usually never bothered by bad graphics. It, it's it feels like a different kind of Sword and Shield. I could ignore this. I cannot ignore. And I think it's because you walk two feet away and it goes into low polygon mode. When you yeah. look up close, it's fantastic. But any other time, it's terrible. It was just, it was funny more than anything. It wasn't like too distracting for me. Yeah, yeah, I have to agree. I think somebody put a tweet out that I was like, yeah, this is like exactly my thoughts on this, on this, uh, on this matter. And it was like, um, so, uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are really good Pokemon games. Or, like, the things that make Pokemon Scarlet and Violet really good make 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 for a really good video game. But the things that make Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are that, that make them bad are really funny. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, like... yeah, no, that's Alpha, that was an Alpha Red tweet. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was an Alpha Red tweet, I think it was. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you know what? That's that, I hard agree with that. Because it was funny as shit. Yep, like, yep. all of the, like... There was like a face in the background of one of the cutscenes. <laughs> I, I, I like I like when like, the cutscenes show up and like the random Pokemon that's like in the area spawns in front of the camera for a split second. There's so many yeah. edits. Like there was one with an Ursa ring where it played the Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare. <laughs> yes, yes, that is the best one. Oh my god, I, think, I love that one so much. I think my favorite one so far is. Like random Pokeball showing up in cutscenes is like a reference. Dude, I noticed yeah. that, and I was like, I gotta come back and get that. There was nothing there. It's like uh, so. So I was playing. Oh, sorry, Crash. Uh, no, no. There's there's a reason for this. Tell your story, cause I I know why this happens. It's really doofy. There, um, I I would I've I've noticed this like throughout because I'm playing two of the games. Like I played through Scarlet. Uh, I played through Violet. Sorry, and I'm like ready to do videos and stuff, and I'm doing. Like, make, make Are you ready to do stuff. videos? Do you I, promise? I I promise. I'm. I've. Promsies. I have a couple teams up and running. I just need to uh, do a couple other things to make sure it's right. Um, you better not be capping, little man. <laughs> Why would you say I will it like get that? that viewership. I will. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Listen up, brother. <laughs> Um, brother i'm wait. mixing up so many like slangs from different like <laughs> areas <laughs> listen up brother you better not be capping little man <laughs> <laughs> he's just saying words you ben, goose better not be capping kidder <laughs> yeah, you um, better not be capping crunch capping crunch <laughs> it's, like uh, the, it's like those tiktoks where they're grand they make their grandma say no cap yeah <laughs> 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 okay, tell tell your story. Tell your um, story. Um, so okay, so I, I've been playing through the game, got a couple of Pokemon, and I, I playing Pokemon games. You know what I mean? Um, 
Yes. Um, I think my favorite fa- my favorite thing has been just like Perkable showing up and running cutscenes, and I made a tweet, uh, like last night, and I was like, "This is my favorite thing ever." Great balls are just showing up everywhere, and it's like, mm-hmm. like a cutscene like during like the Arvin quest, and it's like a Perkable just shows up in the middle, and I'm like, "What? What are you doing there? Who put you there? What is- what's so going good. on?" <laughs> like, Oh, did you drop a great ball or something? Um, and then everybody replies, like, it's a reference point, and it's like a... You're making it lame. No, it's funny. I'm trying to make it funny. It's cool. But, like... Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, like, glitches like that. It's like, what are you doing there, bro? What's going on? Why Those Pokeballs are the are the Pokemon that Arvin catches moments before fighting a new Titan. He just picks one up. Yeah, it's like, oh, <laughs> hmm, what's this? Yeah. Pointing out pointing out like weird things in video games is not exclusively like a shit on the video game. It's okay. like sometimes it's just like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. <laughs> I was I was gonna say you probably I didn't realize you probably got these comments. Yeah, of it's a dev cube where they will hide any assets that don't need to show up at the time. They'll just, like, hide them in a box off-screen. The problem is that they didn't put the box off-screen. So the Pokeball is just often in the middle of the fucking Terror Raid den or, like, off to the side of the battle. For Instead of storing the Pokeball asset after you throw the Pokemon out, like, outside of the camera view, they put it in the middle. And I don't think that was on purpose. Yeah. But it looks really funny. <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. I, I, I'm hoping we're gonna get a patch like um, BDSP did just to fix like teeny tiny bugs like that or just like little weird things. But it's just funny. I feel bad for these developers who had to crunch so hard they forgot to move the dev dev cube somewhere else. But <laughs> the dev cube. The dev cube. The, 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 Welcome. It's the dev orb. <laughs> the dev it's like, what would you do if we kissed in the dev cube? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the fucking the the Twilight Zone, but it's the Dev Cube. <laughs> the, welcome to the Dev Cube. <laughs> Doors flying past clock. <laughs> Man, wait, no, it's Thanksgiving, and I didn't even watch any Twilight Zone. What oh, is that a thing? Is that your thing? They, they, there's there's a there's a uh, TV channel, and they do a Twilight Zone marathon every Thanksgiving, and I didn't even watch it. Man, I didn't know those pilgrims. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I was, dude, I was saying that to cut you all last dude. night. Go ahead. <laughs> I wish they had like, I, I wish they had like a similar thing to like that Twilight Zone thing. Like, but um, I, I don't know, somewhere it's just more, more interesting. Like, I don't know. You guys are, uh, are you guys into sharks? Sharks? I like sharks. Yeah, so it'd be really cool if they did that with sharks. Talk about That'd like shark really awesome, week, bro. What? The Twilight Zone, but that sharks? That- yeah. Well, I mean, no, I so, mean, like, like, like a marathon. Talking about like Shark so Week, bro. So I know that he's What's- he's making fun of Shark Week. What? I thought that he was saying he wants existential, like, like Red? makes your mind fuck soap operas, but instead of people, it is just all sharks. Wait, you guys are talking about Shark Week? This is like this. It's like about one episode in Black Mirror where there's sharks or something. I don't know. <laughs> I think his like his like a- secret agent like double agent life uh like trigger word was Shark Week and now he's like <laughs> he's like on on a mission right now. I think that's I'm, what he's doing. I'm assembling that a rifle. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. Yeah. laughs> What's this red dot on my head? <laughs> Where's that coming from? Wait, what the f- Mockers, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dies. Gang, gang, I say as I leave the scene. <laughs> Calling cards a shark. This is, this is, this is... By the way, update update on the Woe Chain team. I haven't lost yet. This is hilarious. I love every little bit of what I'm doing right here. Snail. I've been watching him play this on the side. It is very comforting to see Gothitelle next to Arcanine. It feels like, feels like humanity restored is what It feels, feels like <laughs> home. It does feel like home. Yep, yep. Never mind, I just saw Flutterman get helping hand boosted and almost one hit KO or something. Yeah, I want to die. Never mind. <laughs> I honestly forgot I was screen sharing. That's being crazy. Real. Um, I love ah, I love my comfort got the tell Arcanine and then Flutterman came in and ruined everything. This is the holidays. Oh no. <laughs> Have a holiday. Flutterman's the racist uncle. Christmas. Christmas. It's the best oh, time of I the love year. The year. Say hell oh my god, I took like 
fourteen percent from that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's cool to see that. I, like earlier in the episode, I said something like, "Oh my god, is this like a big Arcanine nerf with clear amulet being like a thing that should probably be on every team?" Yeah. yeah. Uh, Arcanine's still no, a good mod. Well, yeah, Michael, no, you want to see? Want to see something sexy that I can do right now? What's that? All right, check this out. Check this out. For the viewers oh, yeah. at home. Oh yeah, baby. That's exactly what we want here. Gothitelle That's exactly and what we want. At the same oh time, yeah, baby. Trapping a scissor and an Arcanine. I don't know what to do now. Um, <laughs> oh wait, I'm I think he is going to click Parish Song. I'm speed crept for this guy. Oh right, did we talk about Parish Song in this episode, or am I having like a fucking schizo moment? Oh, uh, we did. We talked about it before we started recording. Yeah. Okay. Good. Because like I want to talk about Parish Song because I think in terms of like archetypes of teams that might be popping around, um, I think. I think archetype, like the team, the different team archetypes that we're going to have, like have to fight in, in like the early meta of this game, I think they're going to be very fun. I think. Right? So like. At the moment, it's You'll like, have like the. Oh, sorry. Yeah, what's up? It's like, up? at the moment, it's like Chien Pao and like uh, Dragonite. Dragonite with Chien Pao, Extreme Speed, like. Uh, extreme Speed, uh, Terra Normal is like big at the moment. Uh, we have. Hmm. Uh, we've got like sun teams with like mischievous and ooh, with a flood of main and roaring moon like so core going on yeah, with like Chi yeah, with like yeah. Chi and stuff. Um, I mean we obviously have like uh, Don Bowser. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Bowser. When we were talking about that earlier, I was like, that's just gonna be a fun archetype to ha like fight. It's gonna be it's gonna feel like refreshing, right? Like if I have to fight like three sun teams in a row, right? But then my fourth matches were Don Bozo. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Something that's not sun that plays completely different. Thank God. Quandoso. It's like a breath of fresh air. Um, the Quandozo. Uh, Hit the Quandozo. What was I going to say? Oh, oh, but um, it is really cool to see, and I guess this is just a thing that's like, you know, normal for um, uh, what are these? Like, the, like early meta or like beginning of the decks? Regional decks. Regional decks formats. Yeah. Um, it's cool to see like different archetypes of teams not running the exact same Pokemon, right? Like, you know, shit like Arcanine's gonna fit on other teams, you know, shit like oh, yeah. and my, Amoongus might fit on fucking every team. You know, those guys, those guys are plentiful in number, but like, Roaring Moon's not really gonna be doing much outside of a Sun team, you know what I mean? Chien Pao's not really gonna be doing too much outside of Dragonite. Like, that, I really like that. I really like that there's, like, pairings that, like, stick together and don't, like, try to be on every single team. It's I'm like, a big fan of that. Yeah. Yeah. Roaring Moon's either going to be on a Sun team or it's going to be uh, Protosynthesis, Energy Booster, uh, Acrobatics guy. Like, that's the... Mm -hmm. Those are the two things it's, like, going to be doing. And that's... Yeah, no, that's, yeah. that's cool as fuck. Yeah. I like that a lot. I like that. Big, big fan of that. Um, it reminds so me... There's so many Mons that are good. It reminds yeah. me of home. Reminds me of home. <laughs> it reminds home. me of a time where where the meta isn't just the same fucking five guys all the time. I I feel like I'm like turbo casual, right? But mm. like, I don't know. I just don't like Incineroar doing the same thing on every single archetype of team. In oh yeah, no. In shit like restricted format or in shit like um series nine and eleven and back there, like you know what I mean? Like this, it was like, I get it. It's Incineroar. It doesn't do anything different, ever. It's the same thing. I am in Incineroar. I am out Incineroar. You are lower Incineroar. I am higher Incineroar. Ah! <laughs> He's going insane. He's losing it. I'm fucking losing my mind. <laughs> but I, I get where you're coming from because just after being in Sword and Shield for so long, we got used to a lot of the same mons. So I'm, I'm glad that there's a lot of just like new guys i like all the new guys yeah like you can't run i guess i, I didn't play gen 7 but it kind of looked like this from an, from an outsider's perspective when like the top were running the joint right like so like early 2017 um you know all of these uh these ruination quartet they're not all gonna be on the same team you can't run yeah. all of them at the same time you know what i mean so like Whichever one you've got on your team, boom, automatically makes your whole team look like an, and have like this different vibe, have this different flavor, have this different feel to it. I think I like you can that. run them all on the same team, though. It, it's probably not good. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could do that in singles with um, all the typos as well, right? It's like, you could do it. You're a weirdo, but you could. <laughs> you are a little weird if you do it. It's a little bit strange. You could a little do strange. it if you wanted to. You could. You could also, like, go to Denny's, order, like... 
pancakes and throw it at the waitress but you're not gonna like because you're should. better than that and, yeah, you should and i'm that. sure there's gonna be like there's gonna be pairings of them that work better than others right like so like like ash said at the beginning wo chien plus uh plus fish might make sense right because they cover each other uh defensively offensively and even like the abilities are nicer for each other right like that's mm -hmm. that would make sense to see as a pairing right but even counterpoint to that why not the other two right chien pao ting lu that could make sense together i don't really know <laughs> like, yeah or just Shin Pao Chi Yu. That makes a lot of sense for like a hyper offensive core. Yeah. yeah. Lower both we of your see. stats and just mash. Yeah. Like I don't know. I, I what I'm talking about here isn't even like part of the video game. It's part of more just like being a sweaty competitive player, like playing a hundred games worth of this. I want there to be some like, you know, diversity and variance, and I think we get that and I like that. So mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Route One podcast, where I describe why I like regional decks formats for the nine hundredth time. <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. You're just right. It's like no doubt about it. It's just... Welcome to the Route One podcast, where I off screen have been annihilating a Garganical with Wo Chain, despite it being at plus two in an Iron Defense set. Oh, oh, full circle, everybody. How do you pronounce Salt Guy? Oh yeah, it's garganical because it's gargantuan plus the salt um chemical formula. Garganical. Yeah. Garganackle. I'm gonna hit you in the mouth. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I have I will. And salt no, food, I. Gaga so. salt. Okay, you gotta gargle. When when I have a sore throat, I gargle salt. Sodium chloride. Gargle sodium chloride is crazy. Like you just say NaCl. Wait, what is Na? Is Na sodium? Sodium chloride. Yes. It's it's sodium and then chloride. Yeah. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. Instead of pronouncing the end of it, instead of pronouncing the end of it, knackle, you say sodium chloride like the whole thing. That's funny. You know, if I if I get to commentate like a like a VGC event at any point uh i'm gonna actually say that I'd be like he's sending out the garga sodium chloride <laughs> <You're insane. laughs> they're gonna they're gonna fire me if i do that garga sodium but chloride. it'll be worth it garga sodium i chloride. call them gargankle gargankle i used to say that i'm a fan of a gargankle as well i think they're all right i think for me in my head this is like an arceus arceus type thing and it's just yeah. whatever in the moment i say to Everyone be fair it's I mean. not even garganackle and garganical are essentially the same thing with different um what is it called when you emphasize different parts of a word and they're both correct? Uh, uh, yeah. Um, emphasis, yeah. No, there's like a word. Um, so inflection? Put the, the wrong emphasis on like, inflection. It's like yeah. an inflection. Yeah, in, yeah he's, it's inflection. I'm thinking of inflection. You put the wrong f emphasis on the, the wrong syllable. Oh, that's the one. The syllable. Uh -huh. You know what they the say? Syllable. What they say. That's what they always say. Dern, what do they always say? Dern, Tursters make toast. I'm fucking here. Oh, Tursters toast toast or something. <laughs> All toasters toast toast. I don't know. I, I, thought, what I, they say. I thought I had something, but I didn't. No, he's cooking. No, oh, yeah, he's cooking. <laughs> I like what that. All was he toast, cooking? Toast. <laughs> Toast, all clearly. Toast, <laughs> all toast, Actually, toast, not toast. all toasters. You not all what? toasters toast toast. Don't lie to the people. <laughs> it's true. All toasters <laughs> toast toast. It's just that's a fucking line from <laughs> her till barrier. <laughs> the fuck what? It's true. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Hey, Luigi, you know what they say? Oh, toasters, toast, toast. Toast, toast. toast. <laughs> Who says He's that, right. Mario? He says beating him with an inch of his life. <laughs> Who <laughs> says that, Mario? <laughs> this is this is what insanity is this like. Is, this is, yeah. My favorite. I'm so glad we agree. My favorite Jimericoi song. So true insanity. <laughs> um, That's a good song. It is a good song. I, I a play lot of that music. song on the regular. Yeah, dude. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of music recently. Just like music in general. I like the music. Don't watch the music episode. The music. <laughs> Don't watch the music episode. Mm -hmm. My opinions have completely changed. Over. Oh, oh, oh me and too. And they all still suck. <laughs> My opinions are exactly wow. the same, except now I'm really into this band called Who Killed XIX. Mm -hmm. Cool. Wait, Marcos, I never told you. My fucking... 3D pro 3D art professor started playing King Gizzard in the Lizard Wizard during class. Good on him. He's a very like a cool guy. a performance. It was awesome. I forgot to tell you this. Yeah. I thought you should know. What? 
What? You know what? You, you know, you know what Gigantical kind of looks like? The battle pass. The battle. It looks like. Oh, it looks like full awesome. guys. It looks like full guys. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can't do this. Guys. You can't like do this. Guys. Too. No, you can't. That was an <laughs> actual <laughs> thing that so Michael so said. Really hey, that kind of looks about, like fall guys. We were just That's about to end I'm the episode. Saying. He was literally about to end the episode, and <laughs> no, then he found have, his chance. No, no, no. We yeah, have, no, 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 have to earn you. We have to earn you. Hey, Michael. Okay, this one's fair though. This is fair. You're going to do what to him? Last night I was fucking bugging off. A couple edibles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was just broken off the edibles. <laughs> we, I was looking at my boy's webcam, and I was like, "Bro, your webcam looks crazy right now." Because I could see him chilling his webcam, like but his background, guys. his background looked like that fucking it rotating conveyor like belt fall level from Fall Guys. <laughs> and so what I ended up saying was, "Bro, your background looks like Fall Guys, or your webcam looks like Fall Guys." And he was just like, "Man, what does that mean?" <laughs> <laughs> Like, like and, this, this and guy listen, was also if you were seeing, like if you were seeing what I was seeing, <laughs> you would know that, that totally it makes sense. Like that fall guys. Oh, like fall guys. And, and, that shit kind of looks like fall guys. Everybody in call is like, dude, what the fuck? What's going on? And then me and, me, and, me and Marker just kept on saying, like, dude, you know what that kind of looks like? Kind of looks like, <laughs> yeah, looks like, like, like fall guys. Like, 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 dude. Night, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm on the floor. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Kind of it, you know, uh, Michael, I have to hand it to you. That shit did kind of look like Fall Guys. Yeah. You couldn't have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Hey, this shit look like the battle pass. That shit looks like the battle pass. It looks like Fall Guys now. That's the new meme. Dude, this shit looks like spe that specifically look like fall the Fall Guys battle pass. I feel like I'm going insane. Like, actively losing my mind. <laughs> Oh, me too. Absolutely. Dude, too. we all felt like that the other day when, when Michael was, like, completely correct in diagnosing that it kind of looked like Fall Guys. Yeah. Yeah, for real. For when real. you hit the realization that I was, like, actually seeing some shit, you were like, oh, he's not stupid. He's just really high. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it adds birth up. realities it adds could up. exist. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. mm. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> love you, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Love wins uh, on this episode. You know what? Uh, <laughs> sodium, uh, go, go sodium chloride looks like. Uh, looks looks a little bit bricky, like Minecraft. You know what else else looks like Minecraft? That should look like Minecraft. Oh, guys, you know what else looks like? <laughs> <laughs> Daka Taka. Okay, I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> uh, what's up, Patreon guys? We need to do some stuff in terms of doing raids together. I know markers. I need to buy the game. Yeah, buy the buy oh, the true, game. True. Stop buying edibles and Soon. buy the video game. Soon. No, <laughs> no, not what I spent my <laughs> he money. Saw, on. <laughs> he could only see Fall Guys because it was free. <laughs> yeah, that's facts. Wait, no, wait, no. I literally bought Fall Guys. Hold on, that's not a free game anymore. Please don't tell me it's a free game. It's yeah, free I, game. Bo free I bought. I bought it when it was. Uh, it was money. free when I got it. I've never played Fuck. it. Either you way. know, but it's not your fault, man. It did oh, I'm the type of guy to buy Fortnite. No. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Yo, this guy bought Fortnite. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's just what bullying. Bullying. Push Fortnite after this. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go buy Fortnite. <laughs> Play Fortnite. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I already bought it. <laughs> Michael, the type of guy to buy Fortnite. Yeah, I think yeah. Michael is one of one of those guys that you can say Michael a type of guy to do X, and it's normally true. It's, it's usually right. It's like it's like Drake or like a Marvel character. <laughs> Don't say like Drake, man. Cool. Don't, the the, the like amount Drake. of the amount of times we've like compared you to Drake, 21. and it's been like <laughs> you think startlingly accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, can you talk? Can you do something for me? Can you talk? To me? <laughs> All the memes that are like, um, Drake, the type of guy to be like, he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> in a movie. Anyway, uh, Patreon. Yeah, I, would, I would do that. Patreon. Hi, Patreons. I, hey, hey Stack Attackers. I, I love you. I don't love Brady. I'm kidding. I do love Brady, but I love you more, Stack Attackers. So he'll read your names out now. <laughs> Wow, okay, crying. man, that's crazy, man. You called me an emotional terrorist last <laughs> night. This is, this is me getting back at you. 
That'd make a oh sick album God. name. <laughs> Emotional <laughs> Terrorist. <laughs> Anyway, oh thank you for subscribing <laughs> to Patreon. Uh, <laughs> Crazy Carlton, Ken Marker, Plumber, Professor Germs, Ryan, and Turja for supporting us on Patreon, as well as everybody else. Uh, <laughs> maybe only a few of you, actually. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, uh, yeah. No, all of you. I'm a fan of all of you. Hey, Michael. They're all awesome, I think. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, bro? <laughs> What's good? What is happening? I don't know. Anyway, we're just we're looking at each other through the screen right now. The screen. I thought you, no, you don't even no have cams, your cameras on. We're looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna suplex each other when we meet up, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> just gonna be like WWE. <laughs> We've think... looped back around to all yelling at each other. Dude, it... This, but this time it's out of love. Wait, so. uh, I, no, no, what? what? This is how we described it yesterday. Uh, he's Setter Kaiba, and I'm Yugi with a fucking every piece of Exodia <laughs> in my hand right now. Alright. I feel like I took an L this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, goodbye, everybody. Thank you, Patreons. Thank you. Goodbye. goodbye. Leave, down, leave in the comments how you pronounce Saltman. Yeah, that's the most important takeaway. Salt man. Episode. Salt man. Salt man. And also tell me I'm right in the comment section. <laughs> I, Demon. Uh, I, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Demonic screeching. <laughs>